This video is brought to you by Brett Wilder. Back at now on GameFound. Kia ora koto and welcome to Kemet Blood and Sand in about three minutes. It has no solo mode. It's a game for two to five players, playing time is medium to long, and it's a moderately complex game. You are the god leader of a divine cult in mythic Egypt. Can you control the temples, build pyramids, and use terrible magic and ancient beasts to dominate your pairs into submission? The game ends once one player starts their turn with nine or more victory points and no other player has more points than them. The game ends immediately and that player wins. Victory points come from controlling areas, acts of faith, winning battles, and controlling completed pyramids. Area control. Holding key regions will grant you victory points and other benefits. Card management. You will have battle and divine cards to manage. Variable player powers. You all start off even but can develop unique power upgrades. Player turn. Set up the board based on your player count. For our example, we will use the five player setup. Each player selects a city district, places 10 units and two troops of five, and then selects three levels of pyramids and places color icons on those pyramids. Then select a level one tile from one of the colors on your pyramids. Each player has five action discs and you will take one action on your turn. You have the default actions printed on your board as well as one for each color pyramid you control. At the end of the round, you must have taken one action from each level on your board. There are also gold and silver actions you can earn and these are bonus actions. The first action is Prey, which gets you two prayer points. These are tracked at the top of your board and are spent on other actions. Build Pyramid lets you construct pyramid levels, costing one prayer point for each level's value. So building straight to level four would cost 10 points, one, two, three, and four for each respective level. This also gets you a victory point. Recruit lets you spend points to add troops to your city at the cost of one each. Move lets you move a troop of up to five units. At game start, this is one space. You can also move across matching ports. Additionally, you can teleport from a city to a location with an obelisk for two prayer points. If you share a location with an opponent, a battle occurs. Play a battle card and any relevant divine cards. Add the sword icon to your total value of units and the highest value wins. Cards can also show blood drops which do damage or shields that block them. Here they cancel out, but the divine card does one more. Green removes the model and retreats. The winner gets a battle victory point. If you move into a temple, take its control marker as victory points. You can lose this if counterattacked. The final action is what makes the game, select powers. Each requires a matching pyramid of the level on its top left and costs that amount in prayer points. This one increases all your troops movement by one. This level four one greatly improves your combat skills. And this one lets you add a giant score to one of your troops, greatly increasing its combat skills. You can attack other player cities, but movement stops at the walls, and they can recruit into their own city. Finally, once all actions are done, run the night phase. Here you can get victory points for controlling key areas on the board, and gain more prayer points as well. Why would you like this game? Kemet could easily have been just another dull area control game, and its bones are just that. Move troops, fight battles, and control spaces. But all that changes once the power tiles start getting taken, and the game kicks up a gear. There are four sets in the box, each with their own flavor. Red is all about fighting, blue about defenses, white improves your economy, and black tiles are full of dirty tricks. And how you build your unique set of power tiles is massively important in how the game plays out for you. The combat system is diceless and solid, which is good and bad. Good because it's deterministic, bad because you rarely get any shocking results. All up, Kemet is a solid area control game that knows what it's about and would suit a group that wants a high confrontation game. The best thing about this game is rampaging around the board with giant monsters. However, while the game does come with a little booklet of the tiles for each player, your first few games will be quite slow as you try to figure them all out. And the opening turns can be pretty slow and dull. For a similar area control game with evolving powers, try Galilean Moons. And if Greece is your thing, try Lords of Hellas. Kemet Blood and Sand. Alright, let's kick tut! And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share and subscribe to the channel.